I'm going to show you how to make one of the bookmarks out of the free Unsung Heroes bookmark collection from Creative Kiwi. For this I'm going to be using two layers of wash away stabiliser, a 5x7 hoop, my squizzers, some masking tape, threads, one with a matching bobbin for the satin stitch edging and my fabrics and batting cut to size. In the video description below you will find a link to this design along with lots of other information including discount codes so please do take the time to have a look. You're going to start off by hooping your two layers of wash away stabiliser. And then we're going to pin around the top edge of the hoop so that it stops it from being pulled down in between the hoop, two hoop pieces. So take your pin and any pin with a head will work. Rest it on top of your um, inner hoop, push it through and then bring it back round through the stabiliser again. And that will anchor it in place. And you'll do that on all four sides. Load your chosen file into your machine. I'm doing Nurses Are Our Heroes today. And then you're going to stitch round number one and that's going to give you a placement outline for your batting. Place your batting over the outline and then tape it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number two to secure it. Trim away your excess batting close to the stitch line, taking care not to cut the stitches. Place your front fabric over the top of the batting and tape it in place. Making sure that you've got a thread that's going to match your fabric or your satin stitch thread loaded into your machine. You're now going to stitch round number three. Load your thread colour for the text into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number four. Change your thread colour for the heart that's seated in the word heroes and then stitch round number five. Next you're going to add your backing fabric. So turn your hoop over and place your fabric over the outline. Then you're going to take it in place. Pop your hoop into your machine and stitch round number six. Load your thread colour for the heartbeat that's going to go in here into your machine. I'm staying with red on this. And then you're going to stitch round number seven. You're going to trim away the excess fabric from both front and back of your hoop. So turn your hoop over. Load your matching bobbin and thread colour for the satin stitching on your bookmark into your machine and then you're going to stitch round number 8 and that's going to zigzag around the raw edges of the border. You're now going to stitch the last round which is round number 9 and that's the satin stitching around the border and around the heart. You can tidy up the little jump threads between your letters here. 
I've just got a few more to go and that's that done we're now going to free this from the hoop so turn your hoop over and cut around the edge taking care not to cut any of your stitching of course All that remains now is for us to dissolve the excess stabiliser from around the edge. So take a cotton bud, dip it in warm water and just run it around the edge. And that's our bookmark completed. I often get asked about the problems with wash away stabiliser for example after it's been pressed it goes all wrinkly or stiff the answer to this is any moisture is going to cause it to contract so if you press it with a steam iron you're going to partially dissolve the wash away um, stabiliser inside your object so the answer is if that happens just to wash it and to get rid of the stiffness you might need to wash it more than once once all the stabilizer has been dissolved and has gone your fabric will be lovely and soft and supple again I hope you enjoyed this stitch along if you did please give me a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified of new videos as soon as they're published do pop along to Creative Kiwi's Facebook group. There's lots of ideas, help and inspiration there for everybody. And thank you very much for joining me. You will find a link to this design along with lots of other information such as where I get my supplies and some discount codes in the video description below.